back from commercial break for another four and a half minutes. Woo! All right, we're talking about the six book drinking yeah, game. Six okay. book drinking yeah. game. Go. Six so come on with you. Okay. To our fine Hufflepuff friend, <laughs> we'll call Huffy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every time <laughs> Slughorn gives a compliment to Harry, you take a shot. Every time Harry suspects Draco of doing something bad, you take a shot. Every time he suspects Snape of doing something bad. When he suspects Snape and Draco of collaborating and doing something bad, you take three shots. Okay, um, okay. And then you're drunk. After five pages. The last chapter, whenever, whenever Dumbledore tells Draco that he's a good kid, you take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> but he really is a good kid. Yeah. I would say anything with Ginny, you take a shot. Yeah, whenever Harry kisses, whenever, whenever the creature in his chest growls about Jenny, oh, yeah. Yeah. you mean erections? I'm sorry. No, it's not Is that the creature in your chest, or are you just happy to see me? I love. That. I'd say every time you see Jenny kissing another man, you take a shot. Oh, that's that's for the whole series, though. Oh. oh. <laughs> well, that doesn't like come into play till like the fourth uh, book. Like one thing, there's that Dean. I, there's. I continue, Kate. One thing that I like about the sixth book or that I've already Katarina. Seen, whatever. <laughs> I want to come up with nicknames. Anyway, continue, I'm Katarina. In Spanish class. <laughs> Go. Um, one thing that I like about the sixth book is the character interactions, like with the four oh, of yeah. them. And going back to the fifth movie, that's one thing that I like about the fifth movie. Like, usually I hate the stuff that they stick in that has nothing to do with the book because it's taking time away from the actual stuff that happened in the book. That's you know. Important. <laughs> All that important stuff. I have to say, probably one of my favorite things about the fifth movie is how they give more depth to uh, Fred and George. Because that whole scene to like where they're comforting like the little kids and stuff yeah, like that. That was, great. That was that a fantastic was really scene good. that really showed their personality like really, really well. Like, the, oh, that scene was just so amazing to me. But like, I really like that uh, scene. the interaction with. I, I don't even remember what they, what they were talking about, but like Harry and Ron Hermione are sitting in the. Yeah! Uh, and, and it's when she uses the emotional depth of the teaspoon line. But yeah. also, oh, and then they, they, they talk laughing. about. They talk, that made me so happy. They talk about Cho <laughs> being worried about her OWLs. Not happening! Because Cho is a year ahead, uh, ahead of them. <gasps> You're right! Duh. I forgot oh, that! Yeah. She is! I forgot all that. Yeah. So I didn't pick that up. Though I have to say the fifth movie actually made me feel sorry for Cho, which I was kind of mad about because I really hated yeah, Cho yeah, in the yeah. book. Because they blamed her. Well, especially because um, they she couldn't got bring Marietta. Other character. What, what's her name? What's Marietta. her name? Marietta. Uh, no, not Marietta. Uh, Umbridge. Umbridge was using um, truth serum on all of them. So it wasn't even Cho's fault, which takes away the entire betrayal aspect. Because yeah. Cho that sided and, uh, with Cho sided with Marietta. That was the betrayal. That's what made. That's what like was the final um, straw for um, yeah. Harry. But in the fifth movie, it's not her fault. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. true. And it made me like really feel sorry for Charles. Like, oh, they're like, banishing oh. the poor little kid. Yeah, Watch her cry <laughs> again. It's, it's very. I don't know. What I hate about the fifth weird. movie is they didn't show St. Mungo's. That was my favorite part. They show St. Mungo's oh. and then Gilderoy Lockhart is in there and he's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, don't get me started on Gilderoy Lockhart. <laughs> I love they him. They needed more Kenneth yeah. Brenna on those oh, movies. Oh. But they're not going to show St. Mungo's ever, I don't think. No, because no, no. it's too complicated of a scene to set up in the first place. That's yeah, a whole too, new they, they like, don't want to level new of characters budget. they don't need. Like, yeah. Bill and Charlie are never going to show up. Oh, yeah. Except and for that very briefly where they're really ugly in that photo of the third movie. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think they'll... But, but yeah. like, Bill and Floor become a big... I know, the wedding! The that. wedding has to come. So they probably are going to bring them, at least Bill in. They're probably just going to, like, bring married. them in in yeah, the sixth book and be like, they oh, that. they love each other now. 30 seconds. Um, <laughs> by the way, I love the end of the sixth book where um, Fleur is like, I think I'm pretty enough for both of us. Carex. <laughs> 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 now, to commercial. Single female lawyer having lots of sex. I will come up with something better. Na 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 na. Hey.